Moving from Texas to here in Hobro, it's a huge difference. Uh, the size of, you know, Houston is it's one of the biggest cities uh, in the U.S. And coming here to to Hobro, where there's you know maybe 15,000 people in the whole city, it's it's a huge change. Um, and even Denmark in general, it's a little bit different culture. It's a different language, uh, completely different weather. Um, so there was a lot of change, um, but there was also like everybody that I've met has been uh, has been great to me. They made me feel comfortable and uh, helped in every way that I uh, I would have needed. I, for football, the the biggest differences were uh, I think coming from youth into professional. I think you could do that anywhere, and you have this learning period or this jump where you need to to mature to that you're no longer playing with you know kids that are maybe only a year or two older than you or a little bit younger than you that you're playing against uh you know grown men and uh playing for their jobs playing for their lives and that's uh it's different in every way and i think uh learning that in my first few months and in my first season uh, was uh something that i needed to do and something that i think every player coming into professional football uh, would understand. I think there was uh, my first few months here, they told me that, you know, it's uh, probably not going to play a whole lot, um, but really just focus on what you need to focus on, uh, whether it was being in the gym or uh, adjusting to life here or whatever it was. And so spending that time and um, really Given that being given a few months to just develop myself without the pressure of having to go right into games was something that I think uh, I needed as a player, and um, it, I think it helped a lot. Maybe the living here made it a bit easier, um, but at the same time, it's you know we play football for the pressure in a way, so it's. Uh, the games that you play where there's something on the line, there's something that needs to to happen, there's a reaction at the end of the game. Those are the, those are why we play the game. Um, but being able to live here, you know, five minutes from training, five minutes from games, it's, you know, I can come here whenever I wanted um, and do whatever I wanted. And uh, having that uh, was was really great for me. Being here for, for three years, I would say that some of my best memories uh, are probably here at the club uh, that, you know, we, you know, certain moments playing, but also just spending time here with, uh, with the other guys on the team, uh, whether it's playing, uh, you know, table tennis or FIFA after training or something like that, or just talking with some of the guys, it's uh, something that I've really enjoyed and, you know, moving here and not really having or knowing anybody, uh, that it's definitely a great group to be around and they made me feel, like I said earlier, they made me feel uh, right at home and right at place um, here. So I've grown as a person a lot, um, just, you know, growing up as well, you know, like, like we said, I came here when I was... 19 and I was really young and I didn't really know what was going on and you know I just wanted to play football um, and now uh, it's uh, you know I'm married now uh, growing up moving to a new city um, figuring all these things out it's uh, it's uh, a huge difference uh, to it and so and I can't say that that would have happened without you know being here you know um, and then as a footballer you know, being able to play, I think it's over 50 games now. Um, and a lot of those in the, in the Superliga, it's, uh, it's a great experience. Um, you know, being able to train uh, every day professionally is, you know, something you dream of, as a, dream of as a kid. So to be able to do that is just, uh, it's, it's amazing. Going to the national team, it's, uh, it was great. You know, being there, I think, uh, I can't remember what year, the January before Corona <laughs> um, was, a, was a great experience. Um, and uh, going again, you know, a month or two ago uh, was another great experience. Um, 
you know, I'm still fighting and excited about playing my first game, but to be around that group and to know that, you know, that's something that I can achieve is uh, something that, you know, keeps me going and keeps me motivated to improve. Yeah, I mean, the last year or year and a half, whatever it's been now, it's, I think for everybody, it's been kind of crazy. Um, but especially, I say especially, but for footballers, uh, you know, the fans bring so much to the game. Um, and I think we all realized that when they weren't allowed to be here and they couldn't come to the games. And yeah, I mean, scoring that goal, I mean, it was one of the first ones. Uh, you know, once the game starts, it's you're focused on what you have to do. Um, but you definitely feel a difference. You know, now that there's some of them can be back now, it's only a, a little bit, but there's a huge difference and we can all feel it um, in the team. Um, and definitely scoring that goal was great. Um, and that's something that I'll never forget. <laughs> yeah, uh, being able to play uh, this last game uh, and have however many people it is here, whatever the government says at the time, uh, it's, it's great. Um, and it's something that I'm really looking forward to this weekend. Um, and hopefully we uh, get a good result as well so we can you know, enjoy it a little bit and celebrate it. Um, not just me, but as a whole, as a group going through this year um, and uh, you know, going through what we've been going through and to be able to come out of it. Uh, it'd be great to enjoy that this last game. Uh, together with the fans. I would say to, to everybody involved with the club that it's, uh, that everybody's work uh, is noticed and felt. Um, you know, we have guys that are here, you know, cleaning the stadiums before and after all the games. And, you know, we see them all the time here and all the sponsors and everybody and the fans as well. It's, uh, we wouldn't be able to do any of this without them and it, wouldn't hardly mean anything to do it without the fans and having that support as well. So uh, I appreciate everything that they've done for us, you know, in my time and they've done it before me and they'll keep doing it after me. And that's what's great about this club.